the KW Heritage Headquarters here in San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, personal coach and speaker <laughs> in the world. Why up at 4 a.m.? There's no feeling like walking into the office knowing you have been slaying dragons for four and a half hours. What do I mean by that? The top performers in any field in the world are early risers. There's an old saying, if you hit the snooze button in the morning, you'll probably end up working for somebody who doesn't. Let that sink in and feel that for a minute. Why? Let me tell you what happens. When you're up at four, okay, you have a chance to just get ready. Now, now you're, you're, you're half asleep, and so that's tough. And then, you know, at five, you're working out, okay? So I work out with a group of guys. We burned, um, I would say I was probably at 950 calories this morning. So 950 cows before the sun came out. At six, we have time to read. We all have assignments that we do in the morning. We have reading time. Um, as it goes from six to seven, you have time to read, you have time to plan, you have time to prepare, you have time to schedule your day. You can have breakfast without rushing with the fam or whoever you're with. And then you get to ease into the day. And let me tell you why this is important. How you position yourself first thing in the morning sets the tone for the entire day. Most of the planet is stumbling out of bed after hitting the alarm clock three or four or five times, just stumbling to grab a cup of coffee, to rush to get in the car, to realize they left stuff at the home, and then they gotta get into traffic, and then they're upset, and then they're not quite awake, and then they come into the office, and they're not ready to rock and roll. When you've been up since four, when you commit to this, your entire life changes because when you walk in the door, you've already crushed the most important part of your day. The hardest part of your day is really over. Now you're ready for productivity. You're ready to step into the zone that you were created to fulfill and to serve at an incredibly high level. And let me tell you something. There's a gift that the United States is going to give you in about a month right now, and it's called fall back. Because I know a lot of you go, man, I can't get up early. Yes, you can. You do it every year in spring when you spring forward. None of you goes, hey, I just thought my body doesn't want to do this, so I'm just going to come in at a time that my body says. No, you get fired. So you see, you do it every year. The difference is it's imposed upon you instead of you imposing it upon yourself. What kind of productivity could you have? What kind of success could you have? What kind of goals could you reach if you just committed to being part of the four and club? And you say, well I, well, I can't do it. Well, guess what? In November, they're going to move the clock back. So you have two choices. You can only get to sleep another hour or your body, which is already used to getting up at a certain time, just got another hour. The number one excuse for anybody in high performance when they cross over is this. I don't have time. I didn't have time. Well, I would have gone to the gym, but I didn't have time. I would have gone on a date night, but I didn't have time. I would have done that, but I didn't have time. In the coaching program here at Kellogg's Heritage, we have an attorney that has signed a document that my coaching clients must sign if they ever say, I didn't have time, Sorry, I spit. I get to throw a punch you. Now, you only fall down one time, you have a bruise for about a week, and you're fine. I pick you up, we call EMS, nobody's had to go to the hospital yet, but you get throat punched. Because here's the reason why. When you say, I don't, I didn't have time, your brain agrees with that, and now you have an excuse for anything that you won't do. What you learn to say here is this. It wasn't. A priority. That's the only thing you can say. You have time. I have time. We all have time for the things that are most important to us. Every decision you make is a decision of priority. Did you go on date night this week? It wasn't a priority. Did you go to the gym this week? It wasn't a priority. Did you get your meal plan this week? It wasn't a priority. Sounds different than I didn't have time. Does that make sense? So ladies and gentlemen, you want to change your life? Become part of the 4 a.m. club. And watch everything changes. Have a great day, guys.